want to welcome John, who really is one of the, uh, perhaps the bravest, the most significant filmmaker, journalist, author, critic uh, that uh, Australia can be. Up to 20 uh, films, documentaries, I've probably got my mental arithmetic slightly incorrect, as many books. So welcome to Politics in the Pub, and particular welcome to John. <laughs> I, I want to start the conversation with two particular dates in mind to John. One is 2009 when he won the very significant Sydney Peace Prize and followed in the steps of people like uh, Archbishop Tutu, Mary Robinson, Bill Dean, Patrick Dodson, uh, Hans Blix and uh, Aaron Darty Roy and the wonderful Palestinian leader Dr. Hanan Ashrawi. So that's one date. The other date I have in mind, John, is 1821, almost 200 years before that, when uh, another significant person arrived in Australia, but in leg irons from, um, from Ireland. Uh, your great, great, great grandfather, uh, to be punished for uh, insurrection and uttering unlawful oaths. <laughs> now, I mean, John has been uttering unlawful oaths uh, for, for over 70 years. I just wonder if you think the, the legacy of that great, great grandfather has given you the guts and the skills to do what you do. Well, I think uh, I, it's interesting, the, the uttering unlawful oaths was the same charge, the, the 12 bottle martyrs, God. But I think uh, Francis McCarthy, who is my great-great-great-great-grandfather, was merely objecting to starving to death, uh, as a lot of Irish people then were. Um, and uh, I traced his, uh, uh, the records of his trial in Cork, and he did make uh, quite a spirited speech about... Uh, not going to Australia, which I thought was quite significant. Um, but he did go, and uh, the, the good news that was he married another convict, uh, um, Mary Palmer, the two of them lived incredibly to almost 90, and had uh, about uh, a dozen uh, children, several of whom died, but the fact that they survived was quite extraordinary. She arrived at the age of uh, 17. She was only, she was uh, called a, um, a prostitute uh, in the trial uh, report in the London Gazette. She was uh, an Irish uh, below stairs uh, woman uh, and uh, was sacked from a number of jobs. She went on the streets as part of a, an all-female gang. They used to rob their, um, their prospective clients before any transaction could happen. Uh, I thought and, they did it afterwards, John. Uh, well, they may have done it afterwards or not, but anyway, poor Mary, she, she ended up, she was only spared the noose at Newgate Prison because she was pregnant. And the extraordinary thing is both of them survived the trip out. So that's, that's the history. How much of that has dripped down uh, to me, I don't know. But uh, I must say, I'm, if we can be proud of a bit of history, I'm, I think I'm proud of them both. Yeah.